Hello. Uh, good morning. This is Pixie. So I was doing some research on the uh, parasympathetic system and the sympathetic system of your nervous system um, in your body. So how it is is you've got your main core of your spine and then you've got a nervous system that comes off that regulates into your organs which basically work both sides of the body. One of them deals mainly with the stress, and I think the other one's more to do with emotional health and, and pleasure and all sorts of things, hormonals. Um, there's also elements, elements of stress to do with like your insulin responses and um, things like when you hold your breath. I know this from hypno, hypnotherapy. If you have any sort of shock or have an experience causes pain, you tend to hold your breath. So your body sort of cramps down on itself. So this this system in your body, if it's not really maintained, um, you'll get your you'll get certain um, diseases will attack, will basically uh, take root. So different uh, autoimmune diseases as well. Because you just get burnt out and then your body goes on an attack trying to sort out a problem. It doesn't know where it is, so it starts attacking itself. Which indicates the body, even though it works in unison and there's a uh, harmony between it, it is kind of fragmented and uh, systems all have different response responsibilities. They also probably have a different kind of consciousness to it as well. So that's why they, when people talk about these chakra systems and that they um, are basically um, also different consciousness that work within you, so you're this multi-conscious uh, entity. There's other stuff that parallel into the Chinese medicine, which actually is great. There's, because um, basically you've got your main meridians and then you've got some offshoot meridians that run, run across through past your nipples, basically, uh, straight down. Now, that, them ones would be the uh, parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic sympathetic sympathetic, sympathetic nervous system that's a good golf all of it um, there's a good reason why I've only had about six hours sleep but I only need six hours sleep now okay? um, so what I've learned though is people that have autism so somebody has that their basically their sympathetic system parasympathetic system is under attack and it's all gone off you know basically all gone haywire under a lot of stress and um, what what happens um, so, the, so the lady gets pregnant she, she has a child the child has say, ADHD or the child has uh, autism or it has something else as a result, but it can't have the same problem as its mother. Now, it, it basically will act in a stressed manner and have other issues, but it may not be able to develop the same, maybe, sickness the mother might have. Maybe she's bipolar, or maybe um, she's got multiple sclerosis, or she's got something else. Or even cancer, who knows what's, what it might have triggered. But because of the actual neuro setup for the uh, child, he will have his own things, like be very sensitive to the environment, withdraw from things, other things he needs to deal with, but he won't have that same life-threatening disorder, because the body, in that one generation, has tried to look for a solution and evolve something. So his sympathetic system uh, is different. It may have initially engaged with the mother, but now it's set up to run it itself, and it becomes dominant. So it's interesting that Autism is, is a result of an, an evolutional process of the body adapting. Now, I don't like the word evolution, but it suggests we're kind of like always constantly mutating, and, and that's not really true. I mean, there's a lot of life forms that don't have any changes whatsoever. We're always changing because we're always changing our environment. That's the, that's the real key issue. The food environment, our social engagement, our, uh, where we function, everything. You know, like how we integrate with technology and, and stuff like that. And the next generation will be quicker and better with certain types of generation with technology, but it may miss out other things whereby it's moved away from craft skills or uh, 
alchemy or cooking or dealing with different types of food. I mean, if you don't eat different foods, your body can't process different foods, so then you, you'll get other things. So um, this system, though, ties into a lot of things that people with, say, uh, IBS, Crohn's disease, and they're at more risk of um, autism. There's nothing wrong with autism. I mean, most people are on, are on that kind of spectrum. To say they're on the spectrum is probably wrong. What it is, is that they've, it's a part of your neurological development, like, you know, the logical part, the structure. It's a bit like the people talked about different parts of the brain. So this part of the brain, but however, it's become dominant because the other ones have to become more passive to deal with a different type of environment. So it's adapted. So they're really, they're, that, that's what it is. It's just that they're, they're in a kind of... Um, more awakened in that side of kind of way that their body's set up in a particular way uh, the system's ready for fight and flight it's ready to move out situations it's trying to find the best way to deal with things and uh, avoiding ended up in the same situation where it's a stressful environment that makes them sick so that's that's what it is so basically everyone would fall into the ha would have autism they just have all the other drivers that's what they are initially these sort of um, different programs and different uh, st structures in their consciousness. They operate different systems. If they're removed, another, another system has to step in to deal with it. So if you remove all the basic ones, you'll act in a particular manner. And, and that's what happens. So if you've got, say, the reptilian brain is more dominant dealing with things, you'll be more have a more compulsive response. So OCD behaviour, for example, and... Um, Maybe if somebody has a form of schizophrenia, it could be that their right brain and right frontal lobe and the uh, reptilian brain have over sort of connected to each other and they're bypassing the left brain. And so it, it's, um, it's getting that balance, it's the neurobalances out, basically. So yeah, it was interesting research. And it's, it's, it's better that we can understand the environment better as well and it's also worrying what's also worrying is based on that research is when they say people like if you get older there's a child, more chance for a child will have uh, autism or quick or something else you know even um, if you get, what is called now um, down syndrome and things like that there might be some other other um, key factors in there that relate to the environment so when I tell people that you're more chance of having that happen it could be that it's not that you're Min less minerals or your eggs are older and stuff like that. It could actually be you're in a more stressful environment and you've developed an autoimmune, you're more likely to have an autoimmune immune disease underlining somewhere and people don't notice it. So what you've got heavily on these um, commercials is take your Gaviscon and take your stomach mess, uh, settling medicines and you take this to calm yourself down or your problem with your heart and, or, or problems with all your organs basically. Um, you've got a fatty liver and you know you need to have um, statins and, and stuff like that. So they're, what they're doing, trying to, trying to work against the body, the body's saying something's wrong. So look, there's something wrong here, can you, deal, can you actually deal with it? And, and all people do is say, yeah sure, what I do is I'll ignore it, or I get a bit of me cut out, or I'll end up on drugs to control my hormones, and all these other things. So there's a massive area of research there, and uh, it's something to be aware of. Uh, if you're more at risk probably uh, in your 30s and 40s of an autoimmune immune disease then uh, maybe what you're being told and, and likely there's some mineral deficiencies as well but mineral deficiencies are easily fixed you can fix that in protein as well it's not a, it's not a big issue just take a lot of folic acid and um, minerals that your body seeks out things you crave just have the best of and that, that should actually fix that anyway that's Pigsy signing off and I'll uh, speak to you soon